Hi, and welcome to the Learn to Stitch series. Today we'll learn how to cross stitch. This kit contains all that you need to get started. Let's begin by locating the center of the cross stitch pattern. You can do this by simply following the vertical and horizontal arrows on your instruction sheet towards the center of the chart and circle that center stitch with a pencil. Let's begin by referring to the instruction chart indicating the embroidery floss colors. Then separate your floss by color. For cross stitch, you will always begin in the center and then work your way out. Beginning in the center and learning to read a cross stitch chart is easy. Every color is noted with a different symbol. Locate that symbol on the color guide and you will find that the center cross stitch will be stitched pink. This design is cross stitched using two strands of embroidery floss. Separate a single strand of pink floss, fold it in half, and then thread both ends of floss through the eye of the needle. Pull both ends through, leaving a couple of inches of a tail. Note that the remaining end is actually the fold of the single strand of embroidery floss. Next, find the center of the Ada cloth. Do this by folding the cloth in half, crease it, then fold it in half again. Where the two fold lines meet is the center of your cloth. To mark this place, thread the needle through the center point, like so. Separate the embroidery hoop, leaving the inner ring on your work surface. Next, you'll place your Ada cloth over the embroidery hoop, needle side up, being sure to center the fabric. Place the outer ring of the embroidery hoop over the centered fabric and press firmly, sandwiching the fabric between the sections of the embroidery hoop. Secure the hoop by tightening the screw while pulling the fabric taut. Now let's learn how to complete a single cross stitch. Referring to the chart, the center stitch is pink and the needle is threaded and ready to go. Insert the needle from the back side of the fabric at the center point. However, do not pull the floss taut. Referring to the cross stitch chart, you will see that each X is made by stitching through four holes in a square of the Ada fabric. Next, insert the needle in the hole diagonally up from the first one. Flip the embroidery hoop over. To secure the floss, guide the needle through the embroidery floss loop and pull the thread taut. All cross stitches can be started this way when changing colors. One half of a cross stitch is completed. To finish the stitch, insert the needle from the back side in the lower right hand corner of the cross stitch square. Pull the floss taut. Then, cross over the first diagonal stitch and insert the needle in the upper left corner. Pull the floss to the back side and one cross stitch is completed. Referring to your cross stitch chart, notice that every square is represented by a symbol which represents either a color or a type of stitch. The next row to be stitched is a row of two pink cross stitches. When stitching a row of the same colored stitch, begin stitching the first half of the cross stitch in one direction to the right then cross over and reverse the direction, stitching to the left. Continue to read the cross stitch chart to see that the next row of stitches are three pink cross stitches. It is as easy as counting. Using the cross stitch chart as the guide, continue reading your pattern and counting your stitches. It is best to complete each section of the design that is grouped close together using the same color floss before moving on to another section of stitches. Here we will finish the pink flower petal before stitching a light pink petal. To secure the pink embroidery floss after completing the last stitch, flip the hoop back side up and run the needle under a few previously stitched stitches. Trim your excess floss. This is how you will secure all of your stitches. Simply read the chart to determine the color and stitch placement then begin the new color exactly as shown with our first color. 
Continue reading the chart, counting stitches and changing embroidery floss colors when needed to complete stitching each flower petal as well as the flower center. Referring to the chart, the butterflies will be stitched next using cross stitches as well as quarter cross stitches. A quarter stitch is a small stitch done in the corner of the fabric square. Bring the needle up through the corner hole, then down through the center of the fabric square. Remember to always secure your stitches when switching colors or ending a design area. Next, you'll trim excess embroidery floss using scissors. Occasionally, a counted cross stitch design is outlined using the back stitch and one strand of embroidery floss. The back stitch is often shown on the chart as a dark, solid line. Bring the needle up from the back side and insert the needle back down one stitch away. Then, on the back side, Bring the needle up one stitch away. Reinsert the needle back in the same hole of the last stitch. When stitching the back stitch, you will continually be moving forward on the underneath side and moving backward on the top side of your fabric. This counted cross stitch design also uses the French knot, both on the butterfly's antenna as well as in the flower center. For the butterfly antenna, thread the needles with two strands of your charcoal floss. Secure the floss on the back side of the fabric several stitches away from where you want to make the French knot. Bring the needle up from the back side directly through the fabric hole, wrap the needle twice with the floss, then reinsert the needle back into the same hole. Carefully and slowly pull the thread to the back side, resulting in a little knot. Secure the thread on the back. Should you choose to complete this project framed in an embroidery hoop, flip the hoop over and simply trim the excess Ada cloth. Or you can continue to follow the instructions and create a pillow ornament. Should you decide to finish the cross stitch design into the pillow ornament, as shown, you will also need a few miscellaneous supplies listed here. Thank you for learning how to cross stitch. For more crafting inspiration and tutorial videos, subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below.